Hello everyone, Eileen here from the design team. I'm back with another video tutorial for you. The card I'm featuring today has a stencil background using one of our new stencil stickers. Now these, they, it's called Nature and Nurture Collection. And you get a couple of birds, the heart, and that's what I'll be using today, and a leaf. And I'm really having a lot of fun with these. I'm using these a lot. I'm also using three colours of Elements inks. Um, Della Blue, Sundance and Confetti. Plus, of course, a couple of uh, Lavinia stamps. I've got the gorgeous Celeste, a fabulous fairy. And then uh, for a change, I thought I'd use the word thanks in Welsh from our Welsh word set. Why not? It's different. Well, it is if you're English. I suppose you're used to it if you're Welsh. <laughs> right, moving on. Um, I hope that you find this is fun to create. Thanks for being with me. It's great to have your company. Let's go. Um, I've got a piece of Multifarious cardstock in white from Lavinia Stamps and I've cut a topper 12 centimetres by 12 centimetres and starting off with the negative image because you get positive and negative images in this uh, sticker stencil set and I'm starting off with the heart the negative image and going to the top of the card Basically, I'm just moving this sticker around all over the cardstock or leaving a bit of white space, as you've seen at the bottom here, and just moving it around to give me the colours that are really blending so beautifully and also the shapes. Right, and it's so easy to do. I mean, almost you could do it with your eyes closed, you know. So, although you might get ink everywhere. Right, we're off with confetti. And a stencil brush. I'm going to pop that down. I could do it as close to the um, design that I have on the original card, but bear with me if it doesn't actually meet up and be the same as that. Now, I'm putting this ink on without taking any off, as you can see. So some of the inks I will allow to be quite bold and uh, vivid in colour, and others... To get a bit of definition and shadow and shape, I'm going to uh, take some of the ink off to give me a paler colour. But this one, beautiful pink, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So moving over, I'm not bother cleaning this. If I get um, a bit of extra shading, like if this pink goes into the yellow and gives me a bit of orange, then I can see that as a bonus. So just putting the heart down again over the top. So I've still got a bit of pink in there. Going on to Sundance, and then this will give me, of course, some orange as well as I go over that pink section. Yeah, it's quite, quite juicy. Well, these ink pads are juicy, aren't they? Oh, my word, they are. Gorgeous colours too. There we go. Be bold with this, okay? Have I said that? Yeah, be bold. Gorgeous. Next, blue is coming out from the side. I'm altering um, the shape, of course, of the heart as I put more of the more or less of the stencil down onto the card. Moving it around. And Della Blue is the next one. Another a stencil brush. This is a very, very rich colour. So I've taken a little bit off to begin with and I'm applying in layers. Holding the stencil firmly. You can use tape to hold it down if you wish. That will go green as it soaks, as this ink soaks into the cardstock, it will smooth itself out and it will go 
green, absolutely green, as the blue and the yellow mingle together. Right, I'm going to uh, put some more pink on this as well now, I think. Yes. So back to confetti. I want to avoid the yellow, though, because I've already got orange tones. So at the bottom here, going over the blue, I'd like a few mauve tones. And if it strays into the yellow, which undoubtedly it will, it doesn't matter. But I want to leave some of the yellow so that it says, hey, I'm here, you know. And a bit of pink, like so. And then coming down again, just trying to see how it goes. Coming down again. I did yellow again by the look of this. Right, let's try, let's try that. I'm not going to get it the same as the original card. And I doubt that you will either, so just go for it, yeah. So I'm not going to, as you can see, I'm taking some of the yellow off. So I'm getting a different shade now, more lemon. I'm not putting anywhere near as much ink on. So, and it just gives me more interest in the card with uh, different shades of the colors. Now, then I'm coming out from the side here. Yeah, that would be good. And that I'm going to do in blue. So if it appears to be a bit textured, some of this blue in particular, it doesn't lay down as smoothly as some of the other colour, but as the card soaks it up, it will settle down and smooth its way out. Okay. Right, so I've round about, I think I'm there. But now you want to add a little on the... Well, I do. If You can if you wish, all right? I'm putting a little bit on the top. So into that pointed area of the heart going forward I'm going to put in a little bit of pink yeah and then I do like this yellow but it needs a bit of interest so I'm going to put some more of the pink in there to give me orange tone and leaving the stencil in place I'm going to add more yellow to make it really vividly orange and I've gone over to the blue a little bit as well, so I've got some green. Um, this looks a bit boring. I'll come back to that. So this one here again, I'm going to go for the pink. So you're just blending, aren't you? Just blending what are, in effect, primary colours and getting loads in your colour palette. Um... Right, where did I... Oh, yeah, this. This, yeah, this needs a little bit of help. This is maybe a little bit boring. So I'm going to go for blue there. Quite a lot of blue, in fact. Make it bold. Aha. Uh -huh. And then finally, so swinging it around, not always in the same direction. You can have a lot of fun with this and you'll get different results each time. And it's easy to do. And you can do it with any one of the stencils um, that you've got in this sticker set. I've put the shapes down in, in this sort of configuration with the birds even. Um, and uh, also uh, because you have fun with the tails there as well. And uh, then the leaf. Oh, the leaf. I've done loads of cards with the leaf. I really have. So, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving these stickers. I really am. I hope Tracy brings some more out with more different shapes. Okay. 
Don't throw this away. I shall use this as a background as well. Next, we're stamping. Well, I am. Over we go. I've got my Misty. Popping that into the corner, checking fingers, because you know I get really frightened. I'm going to get covered in ink. And popping one there, I think, and one there. And then bringing on the Gorgeous Fairy Celeste and just popping her down. And I think I'm going to turn her at an angle. Why not? So she's flying then. So that will do, I think, just like that. Down we go. Close your gel press. Oh, sorry. Um, stamp press is always a good idea when you've completed a really good background. You know, I, um, I'll go to the stamp press so that I know I've got the stamp in the right place then. I'm good with acrylic blocks, but sometimes it's not, not worth the risk, is it? Okay. First find Claire Nocturne. Nice juicy pad. I re-inked this last night. I'm getting people asking me what I re-ink it with because you can not always get the Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. I am re-inking mine with um, the Versafine Onyx Black, which I believe and understand is the same ink that they're using in the Nocturne. Um, so, and that's what I've been using quite a bit. So, and I'm getting really good results and I can't tell the difference. Probably because it's the same. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm doing. Because you can get the Versifying Claire. Sorry, you can get the Versifying Onyx Black in a refill. There we go. So she's nicely inked up. And then over we go. Let the ink soak in a bit. Looking out of the window, see what's going on with the neighbours. Must be some sort of fancy dress going on today. Yeah. Okay. Right. I think enough pressure on that. Let's have a look. Oh, look at her. She is stunning. Beautiful. I love the black against that gorgeous colour. So out she goes. I've got a tiny little amount there on her shoulder that hasn't quite taken. So I've got a black crayon. Just very gently going to fill that in to make it solid colour. Skimming over. There we go. That'll do. And then, uh, without using the stamp press, I'm just going to pop this word in. So this is Welsh for thanks. And in the set, there is Happy Birthday in Welsh and also Happy Christmas, I think. Or is it Merry Christmas? Um, I haven't got it handy. But you've got three words, three greetings. Two greetings and thank you. Well, thanks. Get it right in a minute. Eileen, yeah, shut up. Okay. Down in the corner there will do nicely, I think. Lovely. So finally, now, um, I've got a couple of other bits. I want to colour the wings in. Her wings. So I've got some polychromous here. I'm going to cover up that where I've just stamped. I don't want to make sure that my ink is dry without I put my hands on it. So I've got uh, some polychromous pencils. Use any pencils you like. And very quickly, just going to do the wings. 
It might be a good idea to get the heat gun out and to make sure your image is thoroughly dry. Now, depending on what crowns you use, these are oil based and sometimes they will move the ink around underneath them. So you can use any pencils though. All right, so pop that down there. I'm not being too careful with the colouring in. You'll see why in a moment. And then oh, it's more of a yellow, I think. Looks a bit muddy there, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted a layer of coloured pencil, and then I'm taking my eraser. And then I'm bring, taking a lot of the pencil out and some of the ink underneath. Just giving me some white of the card back. I'm just looking for shading, really. Mm, that's not very clever there. Let's put some more yellow back in. And I think I'll put some more red back in. Just on the sides here on the edges of the wings, like so. And then going back with my eraser, you don't have to do this. I mean, if you're colouring in and you want to leave it coloured, then that's fine. You know, I just, I do like to fiddle, you know, and sometimes it works and sometimes it's a terrible mistake. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I've gone out of the line, which is, with my eraser, it's handy because I can get rid of that. I'm quite liking that now. A bit more red here. A bit more red there. Yes, I am, I'm, I'm liking that because I've got the contrast in the wings now. I've got quite... Well, I will have when I've finished rubbing this out. I've got quite a... A white area now in those wings where I've taken some of the ink out underneath them so it gives me more of a contrast and I've got some crayon there don't want that what do you think then enamel accents now they're next and they're hiding from me and where are you enamel accents And I thought I had them. Here they are. Now these are, um, it's been, we've had some quite hot temperatures recently down here in North Kent. Um, you know, like most of the country. And uh, it has affected some of my materials for my craft stuff. Especially these enamel accents. They don't like it to be too warm and they just went so fluid. But now it's cooler today and I'm now getting the domed look that I want from them. Whereas before I just put them down and it just went ick all over the card. So I'm just going to highlight some of the areas with a few dots, small ones. One, two, three. Oops, that wasn't so sm small, but it's okay. Four, one, two, three, four, one more, five. Don't want it to be too large though. There we go. And then I'm going up the side here. Basically, you can stick these where you want to. So I've got a bit of a muddy area here. So I'm going to disguise it by highlighting it. I know that sounds double dutch, doesn't it? But it works. And then another one, another few here. But I want small. Three four, five. There we go. Finally, it's a black Sharpie. Clean fingers, yes. Don't touch the enamel accents. Up. And across. Gently does it, like so. Uh, 
and I'm done. Just going to tell you about the card blank that I'm going to use. So that's the one that I did earlier on. This is the one that I've just finished. More or less the same, you know. Nice and colourful, that's what I was looking for. And um, the card blank that I've used is an A4 sheet of multifarious cardstock in white. And I've just folded it, creased it and cut it in half. And it's around about 15 centimetres square. I think it's a fraction larger on one side than it is on the other. <coughs> and um, glued and sort of just plumped it in the middle, basically. And gave it a nice white edge to match the white here and down on the left-hand side. Well, I have fun making that. I hope that you enjoy it and that you will too. And... Uh, Oh, I'll tell you what I've forgotten. I've forgotten the gold. Right, stay where you are. Okay, stand by your desks. I've forgotten the gold. I don't know if you can see it when I hold it up. Look, can you see all the gold lines that I did around the shapes? Yeah. Oh, oh well, I've got to do that. That means I'm with you for a little bit longer too, doesn't it? Always a bonus. Well, it is on my part. I don't know about you. <laughs> so... All I'm doing is with a gold sparkle pen, and you'll find these on the Lavinia site, taking my time and avoiding those enamel accents that are still wet, just highlighting the shapes that I've made using the stencil stickers. You can do every line outlining the shape or miss a few. It's up to you. It just throws them out to you as the, the light catches that gold pen. Don't want to go over her wings though. And there's another one there. And then that one there. So I'm doing the every line, even when it crosses another shape, I'm um, trying to catch them all. I think that's about it. Mm, don't think I've missed any. Not obvious ones, anyway. Oh, wait a minute. That one there, maybe. And if you make a mistake with the lines and they're not straight, just make it a little bit thicker. You know, bolder outline. Okay. Right. Definitely finished now. Have a go. Love to see what you do in the Lavinia groups. Tag me, please, if you would. And I'll be back next weekend with a, another video tutorial for you. Thanks ever so much for being with me. Bye for now. Have a good week.